Hello everybody! Today we're gonna talk about time management and how to make your time count. Time is one of the most important assets in our lives and most of us pay no attention to where we are spending our time. So let's talk first about the main time wasters, the way we let time slip away from us. Number one, indecision. Something you can decide right now, you might take days, weeks, sometimes months. And when you finally come to a decision, you question that. And sometimes you even change your mind in the process of questioning. What if there was no wrong answer? What if you decide whatever is your choice is the right one? You can't go wrong. And then you have your own back and you move forward and you don't keep you don't look back at all so you just move forward that would make such a big difference for you and it's a skill you need to build on of making decisions number two way that we waste time distractions scrolling social media binge watching netflix it's crazy how many hours we spend on these activities. We usually say, it's just going to be five minutes. It's just one episode. And then five hours later, we don't know where our time went. And the crazy part is, we believe we don't have time to do the stuff that will actually move the needle. But we do even realize how much time is wasted on social media. It's like unbelievable. If you check on your phone, it will t it give you how many hours you spend per week. Take a look on that. Number three, procrastination. When we spend more time thinking about all the things we have to do instead of actually doing them, that creates so much business in our head, but we are actually not taking action, not producing anything not creating any result. Another way to procrastinate is expecting perfection, right? So when we expect perfection, we need to know exactly every step of what we need to do before we start doing the thing. And, this, and here is a secret. You just know the how when you actually do the thing and you learn as you go. So you will stay stuck on not starting the things you want. Number four, having a calendar. When you don't have a calendar, you allow your primitive brain to pretty much run your life and decide what, how your day is gonna look like. Can you imagine the part of your brain that seek pleasure and instant gratification and just want to do the easy stuff to be the one deciding what you're gonna do during your day or week? What kind of result will come from that? Yeah, not good, right? So that's not a good idea. <laughs> Number five, multitasking. Multitask doesn't work, my friend. The brain is not very good f like jumping from one task to the other. It actually takes time to shift the attention from one thing to the other and to really focus and it will affect the quality of the work too because you're going to do something much better when you just stay straight to the end to completion it's going to be much better work now how can we do better and be more mindful of our time number one tip is planning ahead Plan and make decisions ahead of time. When you do that, you use the prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain that wants you to grow and evolve. You want to function from that part of your brain, not from the primitive brain. When you do that, the only thing you have to do is look at your calendar, see what you're supposed to be doing at that time, you show up and you follow through. There is no negotiation with yourself because that was done ahead of time. And you also avoid decision fatigue because you're not doing all the decisions 
at that time in the day. It was all done before. Number two, tip number two is commitment. Without commitment, we have nothing. No process is going to work if you're not committed to it. So what is your level of commitment? Because when it comes 5 a.m. in the morning that you book that workout, you're going to hear a little voice in your head saying, you know what? I don't feel like doing this right now. Listen, that voice, you should never listen to that voice because you won't do anything if you listen to it. You have to decide that regardless of how you feel, you're going to show up and do it. That's commitment. You're going to commit to the result you want. You're going to honor yourself by doing the things you said you're going to do. The difference between people that get things done from the ones that don't is how committed they are to the process and to themselves. So, very important, commitment. It must be 100% end. Not trying, let me see if it works, I'm gonna try. Trying will not help. You need to say, I'm gonna do it until I get the result I want. Number three, scheduling. You should have a schedule with all the activities in there. Sleeping time, meals, work, appointments, free time, family time, everything should be in there. Organize in one place. When you look at your calendar, you know exactly how your day looks like. You are in control of your day and that makes you feel in control. And that is a good thing. Because you make the decision, you chose all the activities that are there. So you follow through. Number four, constrain. Many people get overwhelmed because they commit to so many main goals at once. And then they, they just get lost in so much stuff to do at once. Constrain to one main goal at a time. You can still work on other stuff, but one main goal. You get that main goal, you break it down into smaller bites and you work on each step to completion. Make yourself, you're gonna, like, you're gonna feel proud, you're gonna make yourself proud and you're gonna feel accomplished and that will feel amazing and will help to keep you really on top of the stuff and committed because it, it feels great. When you do what you say you're gonna do, you feel great. Number five is prioritizing. You need to prioritize the things you want to do. So you tell me, oh, but I have so many things to do. You don't have to do anything. You actually don't. From that list of I have to do, you get you extract what you want to do. And from you want to do, you prioritize what is important to you, what is relevant. You get that stuff and you add to your calendar. You shouldn't have, you should be working your priorities every day. It doesn't matter, it's smaller task. It will make a big difference by the end of the month. So work on your, on your priorities. If someone else has some other plans, if they don't match with what you want for yourself, your priorities, and there is no space in your calendar, and there is no free time, you shouldn't say no to those things because who is the most important person in your life? That's you. Are you treating yourself as the most important person in your life? Because if you're not showing up for your workouts, if you're not following your calendar, do you, are you really having your own back? Right? And that, let's say you have a job interview the job of your dreams would you would you consider not showing up for that i guess not right you might be exhausted you might have a lot of things going on you're gonna show up you should treat yourself the same as that job interview for your dream job you show up because your dreams actually depend on this because if you want to get stuff done and get to where you want to go, 
you need to take action. And that's a way to take action, to be committed and follow the tasks you put in your calendar. And it will happen. You're going to make things happen in your life. How are you going to make your time count? Because here's one thing. Time is the only thing you can never get it back, ever. So I hope you find this video helpful and you can implement some of these tips. And let me know if something worked well for you or if you have any other tip. Thank you.